Hey guys, another auction haul. I spent um, about $225. Uh, I think I'm going to make probably about eleven, about eleven hundred thousand to $1,100 on this lot. Everything you see here on the table. And a couple things are for myself. Um, first thing on the list is I got these, um, I got these pencil boxes. I got five of them for a dollar. What I like about them is you can slip them into a, a, a padded flat rate envelope. And they'll, they're excellent protection for high-end smalls. So I love using them. And they, and they look a lot less tacky than Rubbermaid containers. Or um, food, you know, food storage containers. So Tupperware. Um, I, got, I got the Ninja 4-in-1 uh, cooking system down there paid uh six dollars uh i should get about between i don't know 40 50 dollars plus shipping on that it needs to be cleaned up a little bit uh the mixer and the ninja well because this didn't have the base they threw it in with the mixer um the ninja food processing pro processing pieces are good you know sometimes you even want to just part them out right from the go even if you have a full unit um, I got a, a number of blade attachments and stuff down there, you know, I'll probably do, I don't know, $30 or $40, maybe better out of that. I haven't really looked it up, but I know it's all good. Um, this is a, the mixer's a KitchenAid, which is a damn good name to look for. Professional 6, it's predecessor, uh, it, it, it predates the, uh, 600 series, but it came with the meat grinder. Came with the uh, the wisp, came with the dough, uh, the dough paddle, came with a couple other th uh, attachments down there. The bowl's worth thirty five dollars. The meat's worth another. Uh, the meat grinder's worth another thirty. I might part it out. The wisp is worth twenty. The dough uh, the dough hook's worth uh, another twenty or whatever. And then the base unit would be worth about seventy five. Or I might sell as a whole. I got to figure that. I gotta, I'll work out the logistics on what I want to do with that. But I'm thinking I, I probably got about at least a hundred and a quarter there. Um, the fossil, <laughs> the auctioneer was like, won't anybody give me a dollar for this? And I was like, let me take a look at it. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll give you a dollar. Well, it's only worth about $10. So, but it is kind of cool. I only paid a dollar. It's a fossil fern plant. Um, paint restoration kit. I had one of those before. It's worth between $30 and $35. That's no problem. Plus shipping on that. Now the clay, uh, I paid uh, I paid six dollars on that. The uh, the clay ones, clay kit, that one there, that one there, paid two dollars a piece. They're worth about seventeen dollars, including shipping. So those aren't nearly as profitable. Um, leather leather working. On, well, let me see. Clay kit, cast iron dog. Yeah, he's cool. I'll get to him back back in a little bit. Uh, the knives, Cutco. I paid a dollar for the pair. Um, I probably list them up there for twenty nine ninety five or thirty four ninety five plus shipping, and I don't think I don't think I have a problem selling those. Um, awesome buy for a dollar. All right, the leather work and stuff. I, I got I got three lots plus then I got two other small lots. I paid um, thirty dollars for that lot, thirty dollars for that lot, and. Ten dollars for this lot up to here, and then I paid two dollars for that lot, and then um, six dollars for that lot. Now, if, if you've never seen these before, I'm just going to tell you right now: these are highly profitable. These are highly profitable if you can find them in in in, in good size quantity. Um, I've got over 300 of them in in the in in the, in the one lot, not including these over here. And if you look up uh, complete list and sold items, um, um, sort highest uh, to lowest, you'll see that about 300 of them or so sold for about $590, I think. So I expect to get somewhere around that. Now, the other ones, these over here, I paid, the, the lot I paid $2 for, these are all the Zodiac symbols. Uh, I can't remember the name on them. Uh, basic tool. Well, I saw one. The guy wanted twenty-something dollars. Well, you can ask whatever you want. 
what you get is another thing. I got 12 of them here. I'm thinking about 150, $150, $175 plus shipping on these. I'll be happy with that. I'll be real happy with that. Now, just to let you know how high these things can get, these are barren. These are vintage barren ones. Um, the larger ones, the bigger one like that, I might be able to get $25 for it. I, don't, I haven't figured out exactly how I want to sell these out. I might do short lots, uh, three or four of them at a time. Most of them are going for about between $10 and $15. Now, if I would have had a Harley Davidson one in here, which is pretty rare, but if it would, if, if one would have showed up, um, there's two different flavors of the Harley Davidson that Baron made. One's worth about $100, the other one's worth about $200. Just so that you know, not these don't you shouldn't these shouldn't go overlooked um now the alpine the alpine deal i don't know if i should have paid that i paid six dollars for that i listed it for two uh 29.95 or something like that just put a no best offer on it just let it sit until the right person comes along it'll probably sit there for a little bit but uh i did buy that uh the hammer and the fans i don't know what i do with the hammer there's the fans um, those, uh, CPU fans, the 12 volt, 24 volt fans, they do okay on themselves. Um, I, I looked that model up, um, uh, they it's not a high sell through rate, 15 to $20 a piece, but, um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and I'm a lot, I got eight of them there in one string. I'm going to go ahead and lot four of them up and sell them for whatever, $35, $34.95 and hopefully that'll, uh, That'll speeding up the process on how, how far they go out, how fast they go out the door. So, uh, maybe seventy dollars out of that. I paid three dollars, so that'll be that'll be great. Uh, drywall gun. I needed that around the house. I'll use it for a little bit, clean it up a little bit. I paid five dollars for it, and then I'll sell it for. I'll put it on eBay, sell it for twenty bucks. Now the dog. The dog's cool. I like. I just like the dog. I had to have the dog. I paid thirty dollars. He's a Hubley. He's um, uh, I think he's around uh, turn of the century. You can tell he's real if you look at the crackling and everything on him. There's no fake in that. Um, you know he's got the regular slotted screws, not the Phillips. So thirty dollars. I'm hoping to make seventy-five, maybe a hundred dollars off of him. So. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching.